Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Russ with RWResearch.com. Seems dark in here. It seems like that light's not quite right. Hey, today's going to be an interesting video, but first, I want to show you one of the most cutest things ever. Look at this little guy. Aw, oh, look at him. Look at his little feet. Look at his little feet and his little face. Can you see his teeth? Show me your teeth. Look at him. His little ears. Here, show you a different angle. This is a little baby bunny. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. He's just hanging out. His little feet. Anyway. I thought some of you would really like that. We've actually been feeding these little guys. There's a few of them. All different kinds, colors, and shapes. But they're bunnies. That's a bunny. Look how small he is. Alright, I'm going to put him back so I don't get him cold. How cute is that? Come on. Those of you who don't have a heart won't understand but most of us do cute all right I'll put you back I'll put you back look at his little teeth we've been feeding them cuz mama hasn't been feeding them very well say bye 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 look at those little ears all right I'll be right back okay well anyway that was you know, just my little sharing of what's happening around here some days. Uh, so this video is kind of a response to last week's video. Last week, I asked a simple question. It was like a two minute video. I said to you guys, hey, why do you watch this YouTube channel? And I asked that question because I was purely curious. I was just very curious. You know, sometimes I post videos and I can go months and months posting videos and there might be like five or ten people who leave a comment saying something and so I was just pretty curious and to be fair the the answers were almost what I was expecting I, I don't think there was anything in there that I wasn't expecting except for like one comment which I thought was hilarious which was well we don't come here for the grammar and spelling because that's not here and well that's exactly true and it's actually pretty funny so uh, thanks for that comment, but uh, thanks for all your comments. You know that video got over a thousand views, which uh, some of mine don't even get there nowadays, which is fine, but uh, the comments were well over 150, and I'm sure there'll be some more, so thank you for, uh, for that uh, positive, honest feedback. I greatly appreciate that. Um, now I didn't post that video because I wanted to know what I thought I should post or how I want to change my ways. Like, I posted that purely for just and interest. I was interested in why you were here and watching these videos, so thank you. Moving on, um, this video is going to explain a little bit about kind of why I asked that, and uh, it wasn't because I was going to change what I was going to post or how I was going to do things. I was just interested in hearing that feedback um, just to make sure that, you know, it was worth my time and effort to continue posting videos because sometimes, uh, you know, the videos don't get very many views, and that is what it is, and I'm okay with that, but. I do put some hard effort and work into some of those videos and uh, I just want to make sure that people are uh, enjoying them. You know, if one or two people um, get something out of a video I post, then it's worth my time. Um, I do post videos for you to enjoy viewing what I'm doing. This is YouTube. I started my channel back in 2006, well, you know, before most people were on YouTube. And the YouTube channel, you know, it's at about 52,000 uh, subscribers or something. But when you post a video, if 800 people watch it, then that number really doesn't mean anything, right? So, uh, so I was just curious, and I asked that question because I just was curious. So, um, you know, I have a lot to discuss in this video, and I didn't plan it out. I'm just going to talk through it. So sit down, relax, and just hear me out and listen to what I have to say. Um, where should I start? I have a couple things I want to address. I'll see if I can remember them all. But the one thing I really want to address is, um, I'll just start here even though it's probably not the best place to start. 
Actually, yeah, here's where I'm going to start. So, I've watched a lot of alternative energy, free energy, YouTube people, and it's funny. A lot of us actually fall towards our faith and our belief, and some of these channels actually just end up being 100% like Christian Bible study YouTube channels. It's actually quite amazing. I've seen quite a few of that. The people who aren't real fall off and you don't see them anymore. The people who are real end up there. It's really interesting. The genuine, hearted, honest people end up there, which is kind of where I ended up. I was already there. I was, you know, my whole entire viewpoint has always been there um, in the faith, in the Bible, in the God, in the Jesus, in the belief. You go back and watch all the way, all the way back to when I really started doing alternative energy research and you can see that's where my heart was at that's where I'm still at and it's interesting because you know I could turn this YouTube into just like a Bible study every week and I'm sure people would come and enjoy that because you get surrounded by people who are like-minded with what you're doing and that's just the way it is and that's amazing that's awesome because sharing that faith and that belief is like the number one thing I believe God gave me this YouTube channel to share that faith so when I put that into my videos, even when I don't do it directly, I do it indirectly, sometimes on purpose, sometimes just because that's just, that's the way the video comes out. So that's like the number one thing is it's interesting and, um, and that's important for me and I think that's really cool that other people have landed there and that's where they're at. And I'm not going to do that on this channel. Uh, I'm sure I'll talk about it here and there. I always have and I always will, but I'm not going to like dedicate that for this, okay? Um, I just don't feel like that's something that I'm supposed to do. So, showing you my faith is important and showing you where my uh, basics come from is important, but preaching, so to speak, in that manner is just, that's just not my gig. There's people out there who do this much better than me and I just share what I know and, and show you my, uh, my testimony, if you will. So beyond that, um, we, can talk, we can talk about Stan Meyer for a second, all right? Look, right here it is right there there's all my cells there's my big vortex cell all the end caps to my individual cells where's the other box the other box has all actually it's probably that one. Oh no it's right there right there see it Stan Meyer look at what's in that box all my hydrogen gas gun the coils the bobbins so much work in these two boxes mm -hmm. You know, and if we if we look around uh, over here on this shelf, we'll find some more of that. There, there's some more stuff up here on the top, bobbins, and I mean, it's there's there's five years of work in those totes right there. Five years of my life, right? And what I find funny, and I couldn't find this for this video, but when I went to visit John Hutchinson, he had some um, books of alternative energy. And I believe it was Tesla Tech uh, magazine, if I'm not mistaken, from mid, like early days when they first started doing that. And he signed it for me, and I gotta find it. I'm pretty sure he signed that exact thing. I, got, I gotta find it. It's around here, or at work, or somewhere where I stored it, who knows. But what's interesting about that is inside there, there's this, ooh, new magical HHO Browns gas. And it's like, we see those now. 30 years plus later and it kind of drives, drives me a little bit crazy because I see that and I'm like look we've been working on this people have been working on this for 30 plus years or whatever and, and a lot longer than that to be honest but they turned it into like a fringe science thing which it shouldn't be this is just science I I consider myself a type of physicist where I'm just looking for honest answers, the truth, what's really going on. And I went down a path of digging deep back when Stan Meyer's research, when I was doing that, I mean, I would stay up countless days building stuff that's in these boxes right here. And I look back at that going, that was amazing. I got a great community to work with you know everything about that was amazing and I have no complaints but at the same time I find something like this magazine and I'm like hey 
we've already been doing this for 30 plus years and the same exact thing comes out in the, in the same sort of manner in a magazine somewhere. Oh, look at this amazing HHO, it makes your car go further, blah, blah, blah. And all those things might be true. I'm not saying everything is like, this is a bad thing that we're doing. I'm just saying people tend to not go at it at their own perspective. Instead, they just grasp what other people's done and try to replicate it and then go with the hype or go with whatever they say instead of doing their own fundamental research. So I did my own fundamental research right here. Right here, right here. This is my own fundamental research along with a lot of people's help, help and effort, okay? But what drives me crazy all right what drives me crazy is that we're still doing it and I'm at a point where I've I've tried so hard and I've gotten so far and I still haven't seen the result that I'm looking for not that this doesn't work but I haven't seen the result that I am looking for and I shared everything I can and everything I did and one day I might come back to that and play around with it some more after I learn a little more knowledge and I understand a little more things, but, you know, I, there's, I just look around and a lot of this stuff is in boxes, but, you know, let's look up here for a second. Okay, what's in there? Is that the right box? Yeah, that's the right box. Or is it that one? Right there. Can you see that? Okay, countless hours and effort and time and energy and money and donations have went in to studying and understanding and replicating and there's these things right here. For those of you who know what you're looking at, there's some stuff in this area that in theory I can't show you without getting myself in trouble, but I don't care because I'm open source. I do it anyway and I share what I can. And there's very, very little in my life that I actually did that I couldn't share and none of it's important, unfortunately or fortunately, so it doesn't matter. But I've tried so many things and replicate, replicate, replicate. Look at this guy. Spend a lot of time and effort, money, energy and replicate and then find out the guy is just a scam or the guy didn't know what he was talking about and he was hearted and he was doing the right thing but he didn't know what he was doing and so he didn't succeed but you tried to replicate anyway and I got tired of doing that so then grab my camera so then my good friend Richard and some other individuals we built this Richard hand wrapped that coil. Okay? And where's the other one? The other one's here. It's just sitting over here. And we built other stuff. We built other stuff like this, which no one's ever seen. And I mean, I, you guys have no idea what kind of stuff that we built. And I tested, and I did it hard hard effort with positive attitudes, positive thinking. I tried really hard. Nothing. Nothing has worked the way it was described or the way it should work. And then, finally, the search for answers. You remember the search for answers? I'm still looking for answers and I really would love to continue those video series. And they kind of got spread out through the Newman series, right? The search for answers kind of got spread out with the Newman stuff and it all kind of like came together to make me go, okay, I'm starting and people and individuals that I have, I probably am going to forget many of their names and so I'm not even going to try to say any of them, but they've influenced me in different ways and I've, I've come up with this solution in my brain, which is think for yourself. Do your own experiments. So that's what I did. And look, what is that right there? What is that? What is that? Right there. What is it? It's a cheesy fan. Look at that. There's 
thousands of lines of coil that's by filer stacked on top of yourself that is laminate. I mean, it's insane what I built right there. And this coil winder is one of the best projects I ever built. This RWG OSD really started gaining a lot of subscribers and people watching and interest. And it just, I tried so hard to make the YouTube channel big, going kind of back to earlier's conversation, just to get some motivation and get people out there, get people watching in it. I just didn't really pan out that way. And so I learned to just do stuff for myself. So I'm doing it because I enjoy it and I'm sharing it with you because obviously some of you still watch. <laughs> so you must enjoy it. And according to last week's video, you have your reasons to join, watch, be entertained, learn, teach me, teach you, you teach me some stuff. But this is like one of the best things that came out of that whole sort of thing as I built this. I would, I, I would like to, I gotta build some coils for something over there and some people want me to build some coils for them and I haven't been able to do that yet because I've been too busy. I've actually been trying to spend a little more time with my kids and then I've obviously been trying to fix up this motorcycle because my goal is to drive this to work and guess what? I've driven to this date almost 400, 450, over 450 miles on this thing with the circuit board just hanging off the front. Look at it. Can you see it? Where is it? Look at it, just hanging off the front, man. See, I gotta show, I gotta get, I gotta show you because it's hanging off the front. Legitimately hanging off the front. All right, check this out. Check this out. It is legitimately hanging off the front. I'm trying to finish that. And I got some videos coming up of some things that I did and I'll try to get them edited and I don't know when I'll get all that done. But I did that project right there and I didn't get a whole lot of interest but people who watched it enjoyed it and that's cool. But that thing right there was just to get me to working back. I took what I had laying around, took some batteries I had laying around, built some things, built some software, did some integration with the iPhone. Like it was, a, it's a, It still is a really fun project for me to do because I'm thinking for myself. I'm creating my own thing, okay? And so, now, last week, I asked this question, why, in this day and age, do you come watch these videos? And there was a lot of different interesting responses, but most of you enjoy what I post. That's, that's cool, because I make these videos to show what I did. It is my life's work on that YouTube channel, on this YouTube channel. And I won't stop doing that. Whether it's family, whether it's little baby bunnies, which are hilariously amazing. Like, those little things are so much fun. I've been feeding them with the dropper. And it's just, it's, um, it's an interesting experience for me. I've never done something like quite like that. On the live channel, I had little birdie, which I still have. And uh, I raised him because he came to me, and he, you can go watch those videos, but uh, they're on the RWG Research Live channel. Go watch them if you want, but he's still with us. Unfortunately, lately, this poor little bird has been having seizures, and it's not fun to watch, but he's, he's okay. But he's like the only real pet I've ever had. I've never really had a pet. It's this bird. It was a wild bird that I raised from a baby, and I still got it. And I'm just enjoying that. I'm enjoying things like that. And so, I'm hot. I'm gonna turn this fan on. So I make these videos. Right, I make these videos because they're interesting to me. And so, I am not trying to entertain you. I've never really tried to entertain you. I have tried to turn something like this project into something fun to watch. Watch me build, the way I think about it, the way I'm looking at it. And I've learned over the years that my purpose is to share my knowledge and be generous and be humble and be thankful and be honest and do what I think is right and treat people fair and I've made mistakes in the past. I've treated people slightly unfair. But at the time I didn't realize it. And I've attempted to apologize or made some effort to make it right or whatever. I've, I've, I've attempted 
Uh, n not always successfully, but like, I'm just supposed to share stuff and teach you guys what I know. And for me to do that in a way that makes sense is just film it, edit it, post it. And it seems like that, you know, over a 10%, 1,000 views, 150 comments, over 10% of you are still engaging. So if my subscriptions was 1,000 people, which is 52,000 people, but 49,000 of you don't watch, fine. There's a lot of channels who don't get... That's not my... I don't care. It's fine. But let's say a thousand people watch my video, so I have a thousand subscribers right now. Minuscule compared to these big channels that I watch all the time. I love watching a lot of YouTube because it's my only source of entertainment. Except for my children. They're hilarious. And I try to film that. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to kind of make this video and and share with you what I was thinking and where I'm at. So I'll tell you a quick story. I, w I grew up in Indiana. I started Dan Meyer's research. I went to Colorado and I went to a conference and a gentleman um, hired me. I went to California. I worked for this gentleman for four years. This is where we saw the Schlink line. I did a lot of other projects. Uh, we worked on a whole bunch of stuff and it was wonderful. It was an amazing experience and I have no regrets of taking that opportunity and jumping off the cliff and just attempting to fly with no wings and it was amazing I'm, I'm happy I made that insane choice and I'm happy that my wife who is the only reason I'm able to like continue doing these things at all is because she has my back and she has five children and a whole house of clothes and stuff and, a and there's animals here that my wife loves and she we've got animals like the bunnies there's all kinds of stuff that happens in the background that I'm super thankful for so Without her jumping on board with that move, we wouldn't have been able to do it. So we did it. Built the Schlenk line. Somebody asked me about the Schlenk line in the old video. No, that's all there. Uh, I don't have that stuff with me. And I moved here to uh, Las Vegas. Worked for a gentleman for about a year. And uh, had to get a different job through circumstances that were out of my control. So I did that. And along the way, we built a bunch of stuff. Some of the stuff in the garage is the reason for having that is through that experience. and. It was crazy, and we did lots of interesting things, but here we are. Still trying to do some interesting things. And, uh, yeah. So the moral of the story is, is my faith, which is what lead me to continue doing this alternative energy plus other stuff research, is still in my heart, and I really want to do it. But sometimes in life, you have to look around and you have to think about what you're doing, how much time do you got left on this earth, and what are you going to do with it? And right now my kids are young, 10 and under, right? Five children, 10 and under. The oldest is, is five. Sorry, the youngest is five. The oldest is 10, right? Do the math. Yeah, too, many, too much to think about. Can't remember. But I look at them and I go, man, I should probably be spending more time with them. So Riley built the radio, because she asked a question. I said, let's go do it. I built a lot of other little things. Here's one thing for you that, that me and Dexter built, right, that I didn't film. There's all kinds of stuff that I wish I'd take the time to film and show you guys, because it's fun to watch my kids. You know, but this is one of those thingamabobs, um, Newton's cradle, but we only tied one string, so they don't work very well instead of two. After we built it, we realized we needed two strings. Anyway, all kinds of little stuff that I do all the time with my kids and I don't film it and then I don't have a video and I don't post it and I only post a video every once in a while and yeah I'm still paying X amount of dollars a month to use Adobe because I love Adobe as my editor and so I do that so I spend money on these videos and I surely don't make uh, that back right but it's okay because I enjoy what I do and I enjoy sharing these videos and this is what I like to do so tell the story is this is called YouTube I've always just posted my my life and now I'm here in this garage in this tiny garage with half of my things in storage luckily 
the storage facility I'm using is my work, and they're okay with that right this moment. That may change in the future. One never knows, but hey, it's okay because I don't have that much room here. This is a not quite fully two car garage. It's you could you might be able to fit two cars in here, but it's like a not that big. And I mean, look, I'll just show you around. Look at what I got in this garage. It's just, there's stuff everywhere. I got all my things. I built these cabinets in the old garage. You know, project I'm building. Secret little project which will never make it to the internet. It's something I built 10 years ago. Yeah, and I'm rebuilding it with new stuff. I should film it, but I may not. I just don't know. There's so many things I want to do, and I don't know what I can to have time for. Sometimes I don't have time to film everything the way I wish and make it amazing, so I just don't do it at all. All my metal parts, my crap, all my other... I mean, look at all the crap that's over here. That's a, that's a project I've been wanting to do for over 20 years. Right there. And there's the motor for it. And what the heck is it? I'll explain it when I get there. I've explained it before. I mean, there's just... I just got I just I got a lot of stuff in here. All this crap. And I don't have a whole lot of room in here. That's unfortunate, but uh everywhere I've been, I've been able to store the things I own. And so I just kept them. Some of the stuff I could get rid of, some of it I throw away and then realize I needed to keep because I needed to use it. So this is YouTube. It's the story of my life, and here we are. I'm sharing with you what I share with you as I share with you and I appreciate those people who continue to watch because they enjoy basically my brain and how I think and you know what if it brings them joy if it teaches them something amazing I would love I would love to get back to that right there that right there me and my friend Richard we have uh, 200 pounds of number 30 on brand new spools. We want to build a really, really, really big one of those. But I gotta focus on things that are happening now. If I do that now, and build a giant coil winder to do it, right, to make this big old giant... It wouldn't be a Newman coil at that point, because I'm gonna design it in the way that I think it should be designed. It's my vision of the experiment even though it's probably already been done somewhere. It's still my vision, so I'm sharing with you what I'm doing right here, right now, and I just want to let you know that. That's why I'm telling you, not for pity or some other strange reason or uh, comments. Like I'm just telling you that because I'm just being honest. Like This is what I'm doing, and this is what I'm sharing, and this is why. And uh, Everything I've done, I've done my best to share. And uh, if I didn't learn anything, sometimes that's the most important thing to share because you didn't succeed, but you learned a lot. So you should teach the things you learned even if they're failures. Um, people think, I, I'll give you an example. There's this guy. I'm not even gonna say his name, but he's one of those people that like, I know some of you look at me and probably think the same way. Like, man, I wish I could do the things he did. Well, there's a guy that I watch on YouTube that I actually have a hard time watching because he does so many things so brilliantly and so high level that I just shake my head. And so people, people don't think that they can do stuff and they don't think that they're smart enough to do things and they're not creative enough and they don't have enough skills but the truth is, is that those individuals haven't tried hard enough. If you don't even try at all, you've already failed. If you try and fail, then you can try again. But if you don't try at all, you've already failed. And it's like, I look at those other people that are so more advanced than I, and I'm just like, man, I wish I could do some of that. And to be fair, some of the zero programming and stuff I learned on there with a lot of work and effort, a lot of work and effort. I sat down one day and I said, I'm going to learn how to program this. I'm going to teach myself how to make iOS apps. And I'm going to do it. And I did it. 
through the internet, looking up, learning, building stuff. My job that I'm doing now is actually, that's part of the reason why I wanted to do that, but I learned all that outside of that job while doing all the other engineering and stuff I'm doing. And one day I'll get to show you what I built. You're gonna really like it. Won't be able to give you details of like some of the nitty gritty, but I get to show you at least what I've been working on at work at some point, because it's a product that you can buy, hopefully. I hope we get to that point. Anyway, we're, we're, we're getting there. But, like, I told myself I was gonna learn it, even though I told myself for the last 25 years that I couldn't do it. I literally said to myself, programming, can't do it. I know other guys that can help me out, I'll let them do it. Which is, there's nothing wrong with that choice, because if someone else is better at it and they can just get it done, then that's okay. But, but don't let that impede you from trying. You should at least try it. And so I just said to myself, and you can ask my wife, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna learn it, and I'm gonna do it. And about a year later now, it's been almost a year, I'm doing it. Like, I can't believe that some of the stuff I'm doing, I'm doing. And it was because I just told myself I could be, that I could do it. I could be successful. Now, am I amazing and perfect at it? <laughs> no. Like, not even close. But I've managed to achieve the goal I needed to achieve and built an app right for the zero it made it work it's so cool and it really was a lot of effort but i did it it's super simple it's not complex what i built luckily apple makes it pretty easy with their xcode they do a lot of the stuff in the background you just need to learn the basics basics and you can get somewhat some stuff done so anyway i'm rambling now but i i i knew that this would be a rambling video which is why i didn't plan out what i wanted to say in this video I think I pretty well hit everything on the, on, the, on the head of the nail that I was trying to get across. How long is this video? Eh, wow. I don't have enough space to put this on my computer. There is a project that I did when I was in California, and I filmed it really well. And I'm going to dig it up, and in the next few months, I'm going to post those videos and it's energy related and you're going to enjoy it. And I'm doing that for a very particular reason. And so those of you who made it into this video this long will very much appreciate what I'm going to post and hopefully you get something out of it. But at the end of the day, I've learned to think for myself, do what I enjoy, share the stuff I want to share, and uh, try to be helpful. I would love to like how a YouTube channel where like I'm super popular and I got a lot of people watching and I do great physics videos or something. That's cool, but that's not what happened here. What happened here is those of you who have been around long enough and some of you have been around since almost the beginning and you're still here hanging out. And uh, that's not the case. So I just said, all right, you know what? Don't worry about any of that. Just share and do what you enjoy. Don't try to make anyone happy because you'll never make everyone happy. And just do these things and, and just, just do it. Do stuff. Get stuff done. And uh, that motivation has made me not film as much things as I would like to because I don't have the time and energy to edit it. I have video clips from John Hutchinson's visit that I still have yet to publish because I couldn't understand why I couldn't export these videos and finally I, I realized today I ran out of space even though there was plenty of space it wouldn't export and they're still hanging around on hard drives and I have backups of backups thanks to people who helped donate at the time and recently to get some backup drives so I could back those things up running out of freaking space. There's like. 50 terabytes of data that I have on backups on backups. It's crazy. Anyway, there's my video for this day, this Sunday, this Saturday night, on the 5th, 9-5-2020. It's been an interesting year. But, um, yeah. You know what? Look at this. That thing right there, and that thing right there, but especially that thing right there, is one of the coolest things I've ever been given. 
from a really good friend of mine. And I appreciate people like that. I appreciate real friends. People who are honest. People who love each other. People who are still trying to figure it out themselves and don't think they have it all figured out already. I don't like hanging out with people who think they know it all because they don't. I don't know it all. I'm still learning. I'm still sharing. I'm still caring. I'm still trying to teach. And for those of you hanging around this long, thanks. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. But uh, tomorrow's a new day, and I'm going at it one day at a time. You know what I mean? Yo, that's what I'm doing. Today, I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I'm going to do what's important that day. I'm not going to worry about the next day because one never knows if they're going to have a next day. I'm not going to worry about the past because I'm not interested in the things that I may have accidentally done wrong, that I regret or wish I'd have done differently or whatever. I can't change it now. All I can do is forgive, forget, be blessed, move on, be thankful for what I have today, now, and right now I have family who love and care about me and I need to spend more time with them and all these other projects will come and go and I have a hundred, hundreds of projects I'd like to do but I just can't get them all done. Just not enough time. Still gotta go do the daily. Bring the money home so we can pay for the food in the house. And that's just life. And that's cool. I'm happy with what I'm doing. And I enjoy it. And I appreciate every single one of you who has helped me in the past, will help me in the future. And that's all I gotta say. So thanks for watching. As always, read the Bible every day as much as you can. Get up early. Read one little bit of it. If you don't understand it, talk just talk to me if you want. Somebody. But the faith aspect of this world is the most important. Loving people, loving yourself, that's what it's about. So I love you guys. Read the Bible more. I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Boom.